Nobel Peace Prize awarded to jailed Iranian activist Narjiz Mohammadi. The campaigner, 51, was awarded the prize for her fight against the oppression of women in Iran and her fight to promote human rights and freedom for all. Women, life, freedom. The Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize for 2023 to Nargis Mohammadi for her fight against the oppression of women in Iran and her fight to promote human rights and freedom for all. Her brave struggle has come with tremendous personal cost. Altogether, the regime has arrested her 13 times, convicted her five times, and sentenced her to a total of 31 years in prison and 154 lashes. Ms. Mohammadi is still in prison as I speak. This year's Peace Prize also recognizes the hundreds of thousands of people who in the preceding year have demonstrated against the theocratic regime's policies of discrimination and oppression targeting women. Jailed Iranian women's rights activist Narjiz Mohammadi has won the Nobel Peace Prize for 2023, comma, the 51-year-old campaigner was given the award for her fight against the oppression of women in Iran and her fight to promote human rights and freedom for all. The award also recognized the hundreds of thousands of people who have demonstrated against Iranian discrimination and oppression of women, Anushia Shuri, who spent five years in Iran's notorious Evan prison, the same prison where Ms. Mohammadi is serving multiple sentences, told press he is worried about her even more now she has won the Nobel Peace Prize. Mr. Ashuri said he met many other innocent people there, adding that some are still there, just going through that hell right now. He said he saw broken glass and blood on the floor of a medical center during his time there and was told Ms. Mohammadi had been pushed and thrown into a glass door by the prison's director, adding, he was quite famous for his brutalities. Asked if he thought the award might have a negative impact on her treatment and time in the jail, he said, I am worried about it because I know how these beasts behave. It can have repercussions and I'm really worried about her safety. Responding to the news of the award, Ms. Mohammadi vowed to be more resilient, determined, hopeful and enthusiastic. I will never stop striving for the realization of democracy, freedom and equality, she said in a statement to the New York Times, standing alongside the brave mothers of Iran, I will continue to fight against the relentless discrimination, tyranny and gender-based oppression by the oppressive religious government until the liberation of women, she added. Her family said in a statement that while the honor could never compensate them for the time she had spent in prison, it was a source of solace for our indescribable suffering. Who is Narjiz Mohammadi? Ms. Mohammadi is one of Iran's leading human rights activists and has also campaigned against the country's death penalty. She has been in prison almost continually over the last 13 years, having been jailed for 11 years in 2011 for acting against the national security. That sentence was for her work with the Iranian Human Rights Group, Defenders of Human Rights Center, of which she is vice president. In 2016, she was jailed for 16 years by an Iranian court for establishing and running the illegal splinter group Legum, which opposed the death penalty. Her imprisonment prompted condemnation from the international community at the time. During her sentence, she was reported to have gone on hunger strike with Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliff while serving with the British Iranian National in Evan Prison in Tehran. She was released in October 2020, but was arrested in November last year after she attended a memorial for a victim of violent 2019 protests, convicted five times and sentenced to a total of 31 years in prison across her life. She is currently in jail for spreading propaganda. Great Personal Cost Her struggle has come at great personal cost, the Nobel Committee said in announcing Ms. Mohammadi as the 2023 Peace Prize winner in Oslo on Friday, she fights for women against systematic discrimination and oppression, said Barrett Rice Anderson, the chair of the Norwegian Nobel Committee. 
This prize is first and foremost a recognition of the very important work of a whole movement in Iran with its undisputed leader, Narjis Mohammadi, she added. The impact of the prize is not for the Nobel Committee to decide upon. We hope that it is an encouragement to continue the work in whichever form this movement finds to be fitting," Ms. Mohammadi's husband, the exiled Iranian campaigner Taghi Ramayi, said in an interview at his home in Paris that the prize would embolden Narja's fight for human rights. But more importantly, this is in fact a prize for the woman, life and freedom movement," he added, making reference to the phrase popularized in Iran during protests over the death of Masa Amini in police custody last year. Meanwhile, Iran's state-controlled news agency, Fars, reported Ms. Mohammadi's award as coming from the Westerners and described her as someone who had made headlines multiple times due to her acts against the national security. Iranian authorities have yet to comment.